Hello, this is Andrew from Senior Labs, and today we're going to look at making a UI table view in Swift. So to start off with, we've just got this blank single view application project in Xcode here. And we're going to start off in the view controller. To start off with, up the top, we'll go at IB Outlet, their table view, UI table view, exclamation mark. Now from here we're going to go over to our storyboard. In the bottom right we need to find a table view controller. Just drag that over into our view. And once that's in our view, hold the control key down on it. Drag up to view controller. Select data source. And then do the same for delegate. And now on view controller just right click on here. And you'll see under outlets will be a table view. Hover over the circle and you'll see a plus button up here. And what you need to do, you need to drag that to our table view. And that connects that IB outlet earlier we made directly to our table view in the storyboard. So we're going to go back to the view controller. And up in the class, we need to add two things. The first one is UI table view delegate. The second one is UI table view data source and that's going to show some errors in the left so we don't need to worry about those they will be gone once we implement all our table view methods so what we're going to do up the top again we're just going to make our data that's going to be shown in the table view so we'll go there table data we'll make that a string and we'll put three items in it. So we'll do hello, comma, my, comma, table. Now in the view did load, what we need to do, we need to go to self dot table view dot register plus and make sure you select the one here for cell reuse identifier so in here we go ui table view cell dot cell and in the identifier we'll just use cell Now what we need to do, we need to implement our methods for the table view to display the data. So the first one we need to do is number of rows in section. And that basically tells the table how many rows to show. So what we want to do, we need to show three rows for our table data view. So to do that, we go return self.tabledata.count. Now the second method we need to do is a cell for row at index path, which is here. And basically what this does, it creates each row, the view, whatever text or pictures you put in, this is where it's made. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go there, cell, colon, UI table view cell equals self dot table view dot the reusable cell with identifier. In here we do cell or we'll do as UI table view cell. Now what we're going to do, we're going to make the text that's shown in our table. So to do this, we go cell dot text label dot text equals self dot table view. Sorry, self dot table data. And in here we do brackets index path 
dot row. And in this text label, make sure to put a little question mark at the end of it. So what that's doing, it's getting our table data from here and sh showing it in each row. And at the end, we do return cell. And the last method we need to do is called did select row at index path. And basically, every time you tap a row in the table view, it runs this method here. So what we're going to do, we're just going to print out a line to the console showing us what row we selected. So in here we'll do row, we'll do slash brackets, index path, dot row, brackets, selected, brackets. So if I just correct this here, we start the application, we should see our table view run. So here we go, we've got hello, my table. If we click on my, down here will show row one selected, table, row two selected, hello, row zero selected. So sometimes you might want to modify the data in a table view. So say we want to add an item to our table data called CMU. We just go table data dot append. CMU. What you may need to do is use self.tableview.reloadData because sometimes it doesn't necessarily reload the data, so you may need to manually activate it. So if we go run it now, we'll see our CMU item added as well. So I've included a download link to the completed project below as well. And remember to subscribe for more tutorials and Soon what I'll have is a, another tutorial showing us how we can customize these rows in the table views to have pictures and several items of text and the like. Thanks.